We begin with the daycare hit with child endangerment charges. Good evening, everyone. I'm JC Monahan. And I'm Colton Bradford. Here's what we know. Police say an investigation is revealing employees at a Manchester, New Hampshire daycare were spiking kids' food with sleep medication. We want to get right out to NBC 10's Bianca Beltran. She's live in Manchester. Bianca. And police tell us that this was happening inside of a daycare run out of this home here on Amory Street. And this comes after a months long investigation that began last November after police received a tip from someone who had information about what was allegedly going on inside of that at home daycare. Now, investigators identified the owner of the daycare as 52 year old Sally Dreckman. She, along with three employees, 51 year old Tracy Innie, 23 year old Caitlin Filardo, and 23 year old Jessica Foster are accused of giving children in their care melatonin without notifying their parents. And police say this was concerning because they don't know what kind of impact this could have on the children. So far, they say the children have not needed medical attention. But all four women have turned themselves into police over the past week. And neighbors we spoke to this afternoon say they're shocked by this news. Terrible. I can't even imagine anybody doing something like that to their own kids. Oh, they ain't their own kids, but still, come on now. Running a daycare center and you're gonna do that? I, I don't I don't get it. Now police tell us that this is a an unlicensed daycare, which in the state of New Hampshire is not illegal under a certain threshold in terms of the number of children. It's unclear whether these charges will impact their ability to operate, but I can tell you since we've been here this afternoon, we've seen at least five children picked up from that home. Uh, all of the adults that were with those children declined to provide us an interview, but one man told us that he believes that his children are safe. As for those women facing these charges, they were released on bail and are due back in court next month. Reporting live from Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm Bianca Beltran, NBC10 Boston.